You can't even see my favorite shirt ever. This is like the shirt of YouTube. Remember this shirt. All right, so today it is foundation Friday. This is where I try out a new foundation every single Friday on my channel, 6 p.m. Pacific time. A couple months ago, a bunch of you guys were messaging me to try this. I think there was kind of a viral Facebook ad going around or something. That's usually what happens with these kind of products. So this is a cushion product. I have reviewed a few other cushion foundations on my channel. So this is the Secret Key Tattoo Cover Cushion. Anything that has tattoo cover in the name or description of the product, I wanna try out because you guys know. I like my coverage. It has SPF 50 in it. I have the lightest shade, which is 21 light beige. There are only two shades in this cushion. Korean cushion products usually only have about two to four shades. So you can get this on eBay, Amazon, Yes Style. I'll leave a few links down below, but it kind of ranges from about $9. I've seen it up to like $23, just depending on where you get it. Mine I actually got off of Hot Look or look if you want to get fancy, which is Nordstrom's flash sale site. So I got it for 19 bucks, but it actually comes with the compact, the product in here, and then a cushion refill. So technically you get kind of two for one. This is supposed to be a full coverage cushion foundation, which is what kind of drew me to this initially. I mean, the name is tattoo cover. So it's coverage plus moisturization at once, whitening, wrinkle, sunscreen, three in one. It lasts long without darkening effect. So probably doesn't oxidize. It says it covers freckles, troubles, flushes. So that's pretty much all of the claims. I'm gonna swatch this cushion product compared to a couple other cushion foundations and some other foundations just so you can see how it compares. All right, swatch time. So right here, you can barely see it, I feel like, but this is the Tattoo Cover Foundation in the lightest shade 21. Next over is the Maybelline Dream Cushion in the shade 10. The J-Cat Beauty Cushion in the lightest shade 101. I think this is the lightest cushion foundation I've found so far. And then the Misha Intensive Cover in 21. Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless 110. Dermacol 208, which is my closest shade match. And the Laura Geller Cover Lock Foundation in Porcelain. My Foundation Friday playlist is linked down below in the description box if you want to go back and watch any others. If you are excited for this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let's get into it. So if you want to see what I think of the Secret Key Tattoo Cover Cushion, how it applies and wears throughout the day, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. Okay, it's 9.43 Saturday, October 7th when I'm filming this. This video is pre-filmed because I'm currently on Accutane when you guys are seeing this. I just made matcha hot chocolate. You guys probably can't even see this. Nope. It is so bomb. If you don't like the taste of matcha, put it in some chocolate. Can't go wrong. So I've already washed, moisturized, and primed half of my face again using the Laura Mercier foundation primer. I just primed this half of my face. I like the packaging, matte black, but with this holographic kind of thing. The cushion is already in here. So you do get a refill cushion. So that's awesome that it comes with that. So with cushion foundations, this part always Oh, this one doesn't really snap. This part you want to shut fully after you use it so air doesn't get in and dry it out. But you remove the overlay and there's the cushion. So I'm gonna kind of just try applying this a few different ways with a sponge, a brush, and then with the applicator that it comes with. Typically this works pretty well with cushion foundations for me, but sometimes a sponge does work better. All right, so here we go. My acne is pretty bad right now, breaking out. So let's go in with this thing first. I'm just gonna press down one time. Ooh, get a lot of product out. With these kind of applicators, you kind of like press and roll. Whoa. Ooh, it smells good. I always find it's kind of hard to get right in your nose with this applicator. So off of that one layer, got pretty good coverage. High, I would say high medium, and it looks really nice and smooth. If you have texture on your face, cushion foundations are usually pretty good about being kind of like smoothing and they just look really flattering on the skin. I love the Misha Magic M cushion. I think I have an old video on that, but I still use it. I still really like it for when I'm like running late. Typically on my skin, since I have combo oily skin, cushion foundations don't last the longest. They're kind of more like moisturizing. I usually get oily a few hours in, but I do like wearing them if I'm just running out to go do errands or something, or if I just want a little bit lighter coverage and I just want my skin to look really like fresh and glowy and natural. So that just covered pretty well. So I'm gonna go in with my Morphe sponge I always use and just press directly in here and let's see how it does on this side. Looks like about the same coverage to me. I think I got a tiny bit better on this side. It definitely didn't cover my acne as well. I'm gonna try the sponge for my forehead. Oh shit, forgot about a brush. Okay, maybe I'll blend this out with a brush. This is the BH number two brush, which is a flat top kabuki. 
it feels like it dries way faster with a brush since you don't have that like moisture pressing back into it. I think with this, I definitely would use a sponge over a brush. Just gives like the most flawless finish. Look at that, it looks so pretty on the center. I feel like a little bit of this goes a pretty long way. I do wanna see if I can get a little bit more coverage down here. I wouldn't say this is like extreme coverage or anything at this point. It definitely wouldn't cover a tattoo if it can't cover this. I think it looks like about high medium coverage. Even on my forehead where I don't have a whole lot to cover up, my acne and freckles and stuff are still coming through. So I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit more product and see if we can build this up. I'm not gonna put it around my nose or places where I get kind of creasing. I'm just building it up on my acne to see if it'll cover. It looks really good on my forehead, like very smooth. The center of my forehead looks really nice. On my acne, I still would need to spot conceal. It's just not totally covering. I'm gonna try and use my finger actually and just kind of use this as a spot concealer. It says it's supposed to be a concealer. Oh, that didn't work. That's like taking it away. Never mind. So this is supposed to be kind of a concealer and cushion in one. I feel like I actually get a little bit better coverage with the Misha Magic M on two layers. So right now it's 956. I am gonna powder my face with this because I tend to get really oily since they're more of like a moisturizing, dewy product. I think I'm gonna use the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Powder, one of my favorites, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's now 1030, but we're calling the check-in time 10 o'clock since that's when I finished up powdering the face. So it looks really nice even with the powder on top you can't even see the powder at all went out in front of the window to see and it just looks very smooth and natural i mean you can still see stuff coming through so i feel like it didn't totally cover but i think it just looks nice and natural and kind of glowy so i don't mind it that's pretty typical with cushion foundations for me but i don't think this is like very very high coverage i just did super super basic makeup today because i'm going to like a dog walking relay thing <laughs> later I'm that person who doesn't even have a dog and is going to play with other people's dogs. So on the rest of my face, I use the Bare Minerals Fair to Light Invisible Bronzer. Blush is Too Faced Papadome Peach. Highlight, I use the Becca Gradient Glow. I tried this out in a first impressions video. My eyes are very basic. My eyelash extensions are officially off, so my lashes are super short right now. So I just put on my Eye Booster Eyeliner. The mascara I always use will be linked down below. And then for lips, I did a weird combo. Good luck trying to replicate this. First, I put on the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in 05, but I didn't like how it looked, so I like rubbed it off, but there were still some left over. So then I put on MAC Gossamer Wing, which is a luster. This was super pretty. I would wear that on like a natural makeup kind of day. And then I put on over top the MAC lip gloss in under the sheets and that's it, super basic. So check-in time, 10 o'clock. The next check-in I do will be in natural lighting. So I'll see you guys in a few hours. Okay, so it's now 3.33. So it's been on for five and a half hours. I just picked up Jimmy John's and I'm stoked on life right now. So hungry. My forehead looks friggin' bomb. Still looks pretty good on the rest of my face. Very minimal creasing around my nose and upper lip, so that's good. I'm gonna zoom you in. So there's the forehead. It actually looks worse on camera, I feel like. In real life, you can't really see all of this stuff. I think the camera's actually picking up on more than what I can see in real life. Tiny, tiny upper lip creasing, but this is like nothing compared to usual. I'm trying to get a tiny bit shiny around my nose and a little bit on my chin as well but I still think it looks pretty good at this point. Alarm to check in. I'm gonna be out and it is like raining and I think we're gonna be walking for that thing. So I'm gonna try and check in at eight o'clock, the 10 hour point, but it might be longer than that since I'm gonna be out. Okay guys, it is 12.30 in the morning. It's been on for 12, 13, 14 and a half hours. No, that can't be right. 10 to 10, yeah, 14 and a half hours, what the heck. So there were people over when I was doing my last check-in, so I just did a quick shot of what my face looked like so i'm gonna insert that right now so you can see what it looked like a few hours ago but i just looked up close in this mirror and 14 and a half hours my face looks pretty good right now for me of course i'm oily on my forehead and around my nose i've definitely been more matte but it doesn't seem to really be majorly separating or breaking down i've definitely had my foundations look much worse at this point for sure with that being said i feel like i still like the misha m magic i looked it up it's m magic cushion foundation better i don't know there's something about that one i just feel like i get a little bit better coverage one looks very similar on the skin still looks really natural if you were debating between a cushion foundation i think i would still go with the misha one over this for being a tattoo cover uh not quite as much coverage as i was expecting 
but I feel like we touched on that 50 times in this video. I should probably just go to bed. I don't even know what words are coming out of my mouth at this point. If you enjoyed this video and you like Foundation Friday, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bay, well, Bay Rito family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.